Two of the rules of procedure and conduct of business, I rise to oppose the introduction of the bill, the Unlawful Activities Prevention Amendment Bill 2019. So around the following four grounds, number one, the original act of 1967, the sole purpose or the intent of the bill is to address the issues, prevent the unlawful action done by the associations or organizations. Now the government by the new amendment is proposing to bring the individuals for which a new schedule is being incorporated, class 4 of the schedule, that is to be incorporated by which that is against the basis of the legislative principle. Why? Because the original act is just to address the issue in respect of the organizations and associations who are involved in the terrorist activities. So number two, regarding the proposed amendment, section 35, is the violation of the fundamental right, right to life and personal liberty in Article 28, and it will not come within the purview of Article 22 of the Constitution in which exemptions are being stated. And three, it is against the directions of the Supreme Court cases related to Tata and Porta, various judgments I am not quoting. And the fourth, sir, the statement of objects and reasons in the is very vague, it is indefinite it is unclear. So I fully support the view that the terrorism and anti-national activities has to be dealt with very stringently and very seriously. We can never compromise our liberty and also our integrity of our country can never be compromised. But sir, in the name of terrorism, the basic fundamental rights of the citizens can never be curtailed. Sir, we have the experience of Porta. Sir, we have the experience of Tada. So from 1985 to 1995, Tada, the law lapsed by its own. By the Porta joint session, I was also a party who was uh, uh, participated in the discussion of the joint session. Porta was passed in 2002, sir, very, very valid point. Porta was passed in 2002 and 2004, Porta was repealed at the time of the UPA government. So my point is, so why it is being so? It is misuse and abuse of the power by the excessive power by the executive. That is why these laws were not in there. So, sir, that's a very, very important point. The individuals are targeted and entirely bringing back the previous laws of Porta and Tada. And here, what is the case? Schedule 4 is incorporated. Individuals will be brought. Uh, as per section 35, clause 2 of that, kindly say, sir, this is very academically very interesting. As per section 35, 2, that is the proposed amendment by which the a schedule will be incorporated in which any individual can be brought under the, I will declare as a terrorist and he can be brought in the schedule. What is the procedure, sir? What is the criteria, sir? Sir, means it is unfettered discretionary authority is being, sir, 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 please one more point. Und unfettered discretionary authority is being cast upon the government so as, so, as to, so as to take away the right of life and personal liberty under Article 21 of the Constitution and the statement of objects and reasons, sir. The Honorable Minister in the statement of objects and reasons, it is being said that these are fundamental principles of the legislation. There says that the national investigating agency is finding it very difficult to investigate the case and also prosecute the cases of terrorism. What are the difficulties? Sir, sir, my question is, the difficulties the House wants to... Sir, sir, I am concluding. Please, please, please. 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 बिल इंट्रोड्यूस के समय आपको कोई विषय पर विरोध करना है तो आप बोल सकते हैं लेकिन सारा विधेयक पर चर्चा चर्चा और डिटेल में बात करें ये सदन में होना चाहिए the statement of objects, the difficulties being faced by the national investigating agency is not known to the parliament. It is not mentioned the statement of objects and reason. You are, in order to overcome the difficulties being faced by the national investigating agency, this amendment is brought in. But what are the difficulties? The house is in darkness and any person, any individual can be brought, he can be declared as a terrorist and incorporated in the schedule. So it is violation of Article 22 and it will not come within the purview of Article 22. Hence, I strongly oppose the introduction of this Unlawful Prevention Act. With this words, I conclude. Dr. Shashi Tharoor.